The example of what is a woman illustrates the problem with reactionary cultural politics, and why it can never be a truly conservative thing. In a tribalist, whatever it takes culture war, even those who claim to defend the status quo will contribute to its destruction in the process. This is because taking a politics-driven us versus them culture war approach inevitably, inevitably distorts and damages important parts of our cultural inheritance, and such damages could be difficult to repair even long after the culture war is over. On the surface, the culture war activists are claiming to defend the traditional dictionary definition of woman as adult human female. However, using this definition as a weapon in an ongoing culture war is certainly not in line with traditional practice at all. It certainly complicates the category of woman. While there has always been broad agreement with the understanding of woman to mean adult human female, it has not generally been used to draw a rigid line to strictly define who is in the category or not, especially in the heated culture war context. Doing so effectively makes the formally a universally accepted definition controversial and makes it a point of constant argument in the face of borderline cases that naturally exist. The attempt at rigid classification also provides plenty of room for postmodernist activists to attack the inconsistencies in its application to various borderline cases, thus justifying their argument that the category is ultimately unstable or invalid. In return, those trying to defend the category will likely come up with increasingly rigid and twisted definitions that defy both science and common sense. This cycle goes on and on until it all becomes a meaningless war of language. In the name of defending the status quo, the cultural war activists are actually radically changing the status quo.